Hello and welcome to Microchip's Memory Technology Series. So what is Fowler Nordheim Tunneling? First, let's use FN Tunneling in our language here. This video covers FN Tunneling only for flash and double EEPROM integrated circuit memories. FN Tunneling is a natural behavior that we use to move electrons from our floating gate in our integrated circuits. Any IC that has a flash or super flash or double EEPROM non-volatile memory inside, you know that's microcontrollers, microprocessors, standalone memory integrated circuits, they all take advantage of FN tunneling. Ralph Fowler was the British physicist of Fowler Nordheim and Lothar Nordheim was the German. Their mathematical explanation was published about a century ago. The idea is that electrons placed in a very strong electric field can tunnel through a barrier in the direction of that field if the barrier width is thin enough for the given electric field strength. Here is a flash memory cell that is programmed to a logic zero state and we want to erase it back to a logic one state. This is the gate symbol and this is a cross-section drawing. These E minus symbols represent our electrons that are trapped on our floating gate. These trapped electrons make this a stored logic zero memory bit and removing them will make this an erased logic one memory bit. Now inside our IC we have a charge pump to create a higher voltage that we use to program and erase all the memory bits. Let's say you supply a VDD of 1.8 volts to this part. So inside, let's say we create 10 volts from that. This 10 volts will give us a big enough energy field for these electrons to easily F and tunnel off this floating gate through this narrow tunneling oxide and back into the substrate. Here are the voltages we'll apply to the cell to create the FN tunneling. Note that the whole substrate is raised to 10 volts. So all the memory cells in this whole block will get this 10 volts all at the same time. That is why this is called a flash memory, because this will flash erase the whole block with our FN tunneling. All memory cells in this block will be erased back to a logic one level, whether they were already a logic one or if they were programmed to a logic zero like this memory cell. Now note this gate is not turned on. There are no electrons moving from source to drain. We are simply putting a large field between the control gate and the substrate. The electric field is pushing the electrons away from the gate and pulling the electrons down to the substrate. And in our 10 volt field, these electrons gain enough kinetic energy to tunnel through this thin oxide and escape into the substrate. After a fixed amount of time, enough electrons will have escaped to consider all the memory cells in this block as erased. One final note on this, having electrons FN tunnel through an oxide is hard on the oxide and it will damage it eventually. It is easier on the oxide than hot electron injection and you can watch some of our other videos to understand why that is. But the newest NAND flash technologies will let you erase and rewrite your memory maybe a thousand times. NORFLASH datasheets promise 10,000 to 100,000 hot electron rewrites per cell before you can break that part and make it worthless. And serial double EEPROMs, well, because they use FN tunneling to both program and erase the memory, they provide a minimum of 1 million program erase cycles. So you can see FN tunneling is a bit less destructive than hot electron injection. Once our memory is erased and reprogrammed with our new content, we can run the memory back down at 1.8 volts to read the results. Notice the change in voltages. These lower voltages will cause no stress on these oxides, so you can read your memory forever as many times as you want and not damage these cells. Again, that's for reads. And once programmed, the memory can be turned off. It can be unplugged from the wall. The battery can be pulled out of the system. The content is not lost. You can come back in 20 years, turn the power on again, and your memory content, all your ones and zeros, will still be there for you. The logic one cells, well, they were just left in the erased state, so they don't have trapped electrons. When read, those will allow a current to flow through the memory cell from source to drain 
which will be interpreted as a logic 1, just as we wanted. The logic 0 cells were reprogrammed using hot electron injection, so now we do have trapped electrons here. Those trapped electrons will block the gate voltage enough to prevent current from flowing through the transistor. And that lack of current will be read as a logic zero, which again is what we wanted. See our other videos to learn more details about various non-volatile memories and other memory technologies.